Hello, everyone, and uh, thank you for joining us. My name is TJ Grizek, uh, Chief Product Officer here at ClearSky, and we're going to talk a little bit about some of the features and functionality provided by ClearSky IGA, an application built on now. Uh, so as you'd imagine, uh, ClearSky IGA is a fully featured identity governance and administration application on the ServiceNow platform. That means that you're going to get all the benefits of an IGA solution uh, without all of the headaches. You know, some of those elements are things like access requests and provisioning, access reviews and compliance, ensuring that, you know, activities and access is being reviewed on a regular basis, and identity lifecycle elements. So here we are at the ServiceNow portal, uh, and everything is embedded and lives within the ServiceNow ecosystem. So the same place that you would go to request something, look up knowledge base, or get help from your IT department is now the same place you can go to request access. What I'm going to do is go ahead and click on the request access module from the portal. And this is going to bring us to a standard now service catalog. You can create new catalog items or use the out of box ones. In this case, we can request different levels of access and entitlements. We can request new accounts like admin or service or training accounts. We can provision new security groups or entitlements. And then we can also support those identity changes. So whether it's about onboarding new contractors or full-time employees, we can go ahead and track and monitor changes to those identities when people change jobs or they join a new department. And we can also offboard individuals at the end of their employment. So today I'm gonna to show you an example of access requests where we've created a catalog item tailored to a certain company we're supporting. So I can go ahead and click in through my access catalog and I can go ahead and request certain levels of access for this customer. Today, I'm gonna to go ahead and request the technical support level three role that's available to ABC Co. I'm gonna provide a short business justification which will be recorded as part of the audit record and influencing the uh, approval that may come from the system owner or the support contact. So here, I need access to support while Sean is out of office. And at this point, I can just submit my request, ensure that I'm following the policies of the organization, and hit OK. Now, this is a very familiar interface. It's exactly like the way you submit everything else within ServiceNow. You're going to start to see some of the intelligence around the identity process and workflows that we've implemented. You can see here that we've done some analysis based on who the user who's requesting access is. And we can provide this information for approvals for them to make the informed decisions of whether there's risk in granting this access. We've also reached into other components of ServiceNow, including the GRC module, to do proactive evaluation of GRC compliance controls and determine if the request that's being asked is going to put us outside of compliance. And in this case, there's two controls that will impact our compliance standing uh, based on the decision that's going to be made. You'll also see here that we're providing a high level detail of awaiting approvals. Uh, we support up to five stages of configured approvals within the application. Those can be driven with multiple users contextually like requesters manager or assigned to a group like IT security and ensuring that all of those activities are happening uh, throughout the process. Once a request is submitted, these can be managed through the ServiceNow interface that your administrators are already using. Here you can see our access request waiting in that pending stage. You can see all the details of the request, including the environment that we're going to be making the change in. In this case, it's Microsoft Office 365, but we also support a suite of application connectors, including connecting to directories, to databases, and to cloud or on-premise solutions. You can extend the capabilities of connectors and continue to connect to your entire infrastructure across the organization. We can see details about the person who's gonna receive the access, the account that they're leveraging, and also any entitlement groups or baseline entitlements that may be granted. Any conversation that's happening between the approvers and the requesters is tracked, and the final decisions and, and compliance analytics that have occurred prior to sending off to an approval is also detailed within the request itself. You can see those lower level ServiceNow approvals that are available. And we can also track the workflow of the request. So you still have all the power of the ServiceNow workflow engine, whether you decided to use Flow Designer or you use the historical workflow engine. You could build logic gates, evaluation, additional checks around separation of duties or peer group analysis. You can reach into other applications, whether they're within the ServiceNow ecosystem or external to applications in your environment today. 
all of this could be driven to, you know, focus on scenarios like checking to see if someone's been through training, validating risk assessments and whether they have a security incident open. Really the sky is the limit in the use cases that you can build. And this type of functionality is available across all request types, whether that is your access requests or identity lifecycle elements of IGA. Now, all of those requests can be tracked from a ServiceNow dashboard. All of the data, the identity information, the request information is all stored within ServiceNow. This means you can use their world-class reporting engine or analytics. You can drive uh, decisions based on the relationships. You can update your dashboards to really meet the needs of your organization. You can see here that we've added some additional tabs, including links into GRC and analytics. Now we can see this macro view of all of our identity decisions that are being made across the enterprise, but we can also zoom into an individual's identity and look at a single person. You can see here that TJ has multiple requests throughout the life of his employment. He has access to different environments that we're storing within the system. And we can look at all the review decisions, whether to remove or keep access for TJ Grizek. We can see all of his active accounts, any access that rolls up, certain requests, and also other elements of ServiceNow, including the CMDB, and things like vulnerability response, which may influence the decisions that we make from an access perspective. Now, this gives us a point in time view of TJ's access, what he has today and what access he's requested in the past. There's also a need to take a bigger view and, and review access across multiple people in a department or across locations. And from that perspective, we can go into the audit tab or access review tab on the dashboard itself. We can monitor all of our quarterly reviews or our event-based reviews from this area. We can dig into the data and provide things for evidence, or we can just track the progress of existing reviews that are happening. Now, from an end user perspective, they're gonna to go to the same portal where they already requested access from. You can see here from the ServiceNow service portal, just like I requested access earlier, we also have the ability to do access reviews. A user can go in and see any active reviews that are assigned to them. They can view the details of this review, which are completely configurable from the, the identity team's perspective. They can decide what fields are presented, what the context is, what the details, what the images are. All of these things are configurable based on the type of review you're doing. I can go ahead and click into Aisha here, and I can look at the access that's being reviewed within the scope of the IDM demo. From here, I can decide whether I want to keep access or remove access. And when we remove access as part of a review, these actions will occur automatically. So I can go ahead and click into the actions taken. And from here, you can see that one action has been taken. It's gonna go ahead and go through the process of removing the membership from this individual. We see here that we're now into the automated activities. So in the same way that we can provision access, we can also remove access in that same fashion. So in just a few moments, it's reaching out through your existing infrastructure. It's communicating through the mid server, just like all other automation within ServiceNow. And it's communicating back to us that that membership has been removed. If we needed additional details for audit to determine exactly what happened, we can see that the review was what initiated the offboarding or the removal of that access. We can see that it was a production AD environment and all of the details around uh, what we're removing we can see the individual automation event that was executed as part of this request. And as an administrator, you can dig in and actually get down to the level of the command that was executed and the results set back from the PowerShell script in this case uh, that had performed that operation to determine and validate that it was actually completed. Now, all of this is available within the ClearSky application, but there's so much more by being on the ServiceNow platform. Just like we can look at the identity information, manage the requests, all of that data and all of those details and activity can then correlate and, and interact with other applications. In this example, we're taking a look at GRC, where we're mapping back all of that evidence that's being collected within your IGA solution and linking it to controls and authority documents to ensure that you're in compliance in real time. No longer do you have to reach out to the SMEs or the uh, directory owners or the identity team because in real time we can just link to the data that's being synced from those systems downstream and know about any non-compliance before we're being audited. This is just one example. We can link into CMDB, ITSM, security operations, software asset management, and the list goes on. You know, 
feel free to reach out to one of your Clear Sky account reps and, and ask for more details. Thank you so much for your time and have a great day.